Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, we're an American family living in and renovating a chateau in northwestern France. It's always enjoyable and easy. We never ever bicker and have an endless supply of money to throw at this renovation. Oh, I'm kidding, but I'm not kidding when I say we are finished with this project. One more down, only 3,000 to go. The restoration of the Petit Salon began back in January, but we had a few setbacks along the way delaying the project for many months. July came and went, but by August, I meant business. The ceiling was a massive project. The very intricate flower motif required a lot of repairs, sanding, then of course, primer and paint. I have to find a way to run the wires through the wall. Mm -hmm. And at least this part of the wall appears to be solid uh, stone. But down here, behind the wainscoting, there's a gap behind it, um, about maybe an inch or two. What I'm going to have to do is go in here, about, because that's the right spot for the back of our TV, and try and dig some out. And if there is no gap behind that, I think there probably isn't, then I'm gonna to have to go down to here and make like a little tunnel behind. I'm gonna start with drilling one hole and work my way from there. All right. So it can always be patched if something goes wrong. Um, <laughs> what's, if we get a bigger TV at some point, that's not gonna change the wires or the wires. Well, I was, I was looking <clears throat> at the TV that we'd like to get and putting them here would work for that and okay. as well as the one we have so okay good okay so you've created two holes instead of one so oh, we have lots of holes <laughs> <laughs> can all be fixed don't worry it's just plaster this it, bigger hole well this is the, the center and this is the place where we need to have our wires coming out for the tv and I started going in, and it was solid. And then I took everything off, 
and you can see that's a solid beam. Right. And it, you know, it's a it, vertical beam. Right. And if you measure how far this is from the edge and figure it's that much on the other side, it's at least six inches thick. And I think it's wider than six inches too. Oh, okay. So it's big. The lath and plaster only go in about an inch in the wall. And then what's next to that wooden beam is all stone wall. Stone similar to this, this is a small piece, but there are many different sizes that plus mortar holding it together. Okay. So it's pretty much impenetrable. What's your grand plan here? What I need to do is cut a channel going down here. Mm -hmm. So we get the rest of the plaster out and it, it might go a little lower than this, but because once I'm done, you know, we can make it all good, you know? What's, what's this? Is that the universal sign for plastering? Yeah. Amanda plaster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what am I looking at? Oh my goodness. Well, there's a hole going down that way. I can't see anything down there. It's, it's dark. Oh, okay. Lincoln bought a tiny camera and was able to see behind the wall. It turns out his hard work was successful and he could run the wires right through. Did you do this last night? Uh, yesterday. Yeah. I didn't even notice. I was, I guess I was so consumed by um, wallpaper. wallpaper installation. <laughs> so you, you got the wires through. Right. These, these aren't the actual wires I'm going to use. These right. are just the right size and the right type just to make sure that okay. they would all fit. Cool. And I'm going to get new ones and, and longer ones to put them through. Okay. So, so coming out of the bottom here is going to be an outlet and... There's going to be an outlet. And there's going to be a space next to it where the cables all just come out of the wall. The room is finally finished, and the only thing left to do is clean, bring the furniture in, and hang the pictures. This could take a while. So we are in one of our outbuildings and we're about to grab some stone, right? Yes. Those two pieces over there. Okay. Well, these are some of what remains of the original floor for the center hallway. There's more of it in another outbuilding, but this is where we have the longer pieces. And these are all limestone and these are... I'm not sure what the gray is. I think it's granite. So we have a whole bunch of these beautiful limestone tiles that we will repurpose. Um, but for now, what we're going to do as I trip is um, take these out, clean them, and we're going to use them on top of our radiators in the petit salon. We brought the tiles over to wash them and give them a good scrubbing before we brought them back inside of the chateau. They were extremely heavy. Our wall of pictures project was a daunting task. I was in charge of the design and Lincoln measured and hung them.
almost done. So we're both really overtired and Lincoln measured wrong, <laughs> like way wrong, which was kind of funny. So this is the very last thing we need to do. I'm putting these glass plates back on the doors, but first I have to clean them off. Yeah. Because they're looking kind of yucky. So these are just basically door protectors so that when you go in and out of a room, you're not smudging up the, right. the paint. Right, if, if you're using your hand to push. I don't right, know. and we have them pretty much all over the chateau in the, in the first floor and do we have any on the second floor? Yeah, they're all over the place. They're all over. I guess you just don't notice them when you live with them. Lincoln's gonna put one on now. So they go on the top and the bottom. Right. That's interesting. I wonder why they're on the bottom as well. Maybe for children? I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> and then these are the little brass plates to cover up the screws. It's quite clever. Yeah. Some of them I know in our uh, master bedroom, they have pretty, they're almost like crystals. Oh, right. Yeah. 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 You don't like the sofa. <laughs> <laughs> you look like, um, what's, she would sit in the rocking chair. Lily Tomlin. Lily Tomlin would sit in the rocking maybe? chair. It was this huge rocking chair, yeah. so she looked like a little girl. That's what you look like. <laughs> yeah, this couch is Lincoln does not like this couch. It's but... made for someone that's like seven feet tall. Yeah. <laughs> bought, I bought this um, right before we moved from California. Um, I knew we were moving, so I ordered it online. I got it at Anthropology. It was on sale. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times there's no way to test out a sofa. Yeah. I love this sofa. I, it's, it looks great. We need a lot of pillows, and you're yeah. just... You, <laughs> you're going to sit over there. That's yes. going to be your chair, yes. and the kids and I love yes. this sofa. So, yeah. You're um, welcome to it. Yep. Less tortilla chips I'll find in the, <laughs> in the crevices. So... Yeah, we're finished. Yes. Uh, we've had a few late nights. Mm -hmm. Just getting everything done. And it's hard to, to uh, have a completely empty room and then furnish it in like a day or two. Mm -hmm. But we did it. I think the most difficult thing in the whole restoration of this room was the ceiling. Right. Getting that done. And that's what, that was you alone. You yeah. Did. Yeah. So you put, you, electrical you added the, the, you did the electrical in here. So it was a joint effort, but it was mostly 
um, me putting the whole project off because I was a little bit overwhelmed by mm -hmm. the scale of it. But I think this by far is the most intricate ceiling in the chateau. Probably. So now the yeah. others are gonna seem like a piece of cake when I mm -hmm. start those. So this room is really a mix of traditional and modern, which is usually the way I, I decorate. I love a very classic interior with um, beautiful details paired with antiques and modern furniture. So we went ahead and purchased this modern console uh, so we can store all of our junk. <laughs> and uh, any equipment, electrical equipment. I was drawn to it because of the pattern. It, it matches our, our floor. It's a, a herringbone pattern. I think it sort of fits in well. I like the contrast between the new and then the, the beautiful molding. And it's simple enough. Our gallery wall, which I really love it. I think it turned out great. I went with all black frames just to, to keep it sort of cohesive. I was going to do a mix of frames, but to me it was just a little too busy with wood and white and black. But So I've, I've kept it pretty simple. A few of my favorite prints up here. I love them all, I think they're all cool. This one is, is one of my favorites. This is a photograph I took near a house in San Francisco. We had a little park and graffiti artists used to come and paint cool cool artwork, almost like a, similar to like a Banksy. Uh, this one was a, an old lady, an old grandma with a gun, and I just thought it was uh, <laughs> kind of ironic and, and interesting. So it's funny, I'm glad I took this photo because the next day, I guess the parks uh, department came and um, painted over it, so that's a, kind of a, a nice memory. Yeah, grandma with a gun, nice memory. Donkeys had to be represented here. Um, you know, just some other things, ocean, clouds, a fox, a pensive looking woman, laser cat. My mom is up there. You can see uh, the Matisse uh, self-portrait lithograph and my little coyote or wolf with the, with the bunny rabbit in the dress. My favorite piece in the room is Foxy, and this is our, um, our rescue fox. <laughs> I found it a, a brocante. Lincoln did not want it, but I felt so sorry for it that I had to bring him home, or her. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl, or this fox lives with us now and is part of our, our rescue <laughs> animals. The mirror is a little too small for the space. I realized that. Eventually what we would like to do is get a piece of glass and put it inside that panel, but we have just so much to do right now. I don't think we're gonna to get to that, so we'll just have to live with this for now. And I think it's fine. I mean, it's, it's a beautiful mirror, I love it, and um, we'll relocate it to another part of the chateau. And we have not done anything to the floors. That is going to be a later job. We don't know about what we're gonna do uh, for color, or are we going to have to take them up and install underfloor heating? We still haven't decided, so the floor is pretty much as is. I'm sure I can oil it, but we did, didn't have time to do anything. So the floor is the floor for now. This is a, painting that we found in one of the outbuildings and it was wrapped in burlap and although it's in kind of terrible condition i actually really love it and i like how used it looks <laughs> um i don't know who painted it i don't see a signature it's on a piece of board i haven't cleaned it i haven't done anything to it i have to research how to how to clean a, a painting an oil painting it's a cool piece so and of course we have the beautiful wallpaper that we are absolutely in love with. It's so subtle and it's not in your face and it's just a, a beautiful color and we absolutely love it. Um, and this is Sandberg wallpaper. They're a Swedish company. And this particular pattern is called pine gray. So um, check out their wallpapers. They're really wonderful and um, we couldn't be happier and it's super, great quality wallpaper as well. These chairs we bought in San Francisco many years ago, I'd say probably 20 years. 
And uh, they've held up so well <clears throat> with kids and the white fabric. We tend to add a lot of sheepskin around here because it's very comfortable and it gets very cold in the house. So um, we need them. This is my man. I don't know if you can see him. But this is just a, a pot. It's an outdoor pot. So I just put a plant in it and uh, he sort of makes a statement. This is my uh, brocante find, my 25 euro uh, table. And I think it, it goes really well here. And the wallpaper just looks really super. And we opted for a glass coffee table because I thought it sort of keeps the space open looking. You don't have to worry about the, um, the rings if you put down a glass or, or something, which I like. I like easy cleanup, especially with kids. And then these two little side tables I've had for ages. And of course, uh, you gotta have gummy bears everywhere. We're a big gummy bear family. I do have some plants in this room. I believe this is a, a cedar. I can't remember the name of it, but it's like a lemon verbena cedar. It really, it smells, it's really beautiful. But the main thing is that it's not toxic to cats. Uh, we have to be really careful about what we bring in here. Hydrangeas uh, are usually on the no list, but the cats don't touch them. And this other plant I have over here, I wish I could remember the name, um, but this is definitely safe for cats. And I think it's, it's kind of it's cool looking. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have something to say, leave us a comment.